I like him. Cloud versus Snake. Now, Cloud really wants to get in, but we'll see how he tries to get the limit instead. Snake, on the other hand, is very, very okay not getting inside all the time, using the bombs to play his range. F-Tilt doesn't hit, goes through the shield, but the bomb trades both of them. C4 doesn't quite connect. Dropping bombs again. He's going to edge guard with it. Yeah, not quite hit, though. Down smash can't quite get it, and neither does the, the down air. Has limit. What's the plan? We want to see cross slash. That's what Cloud really wants. C4 is on the platform. Blade beam doesn't quite hit. Hits the shield, gets good shield pressure. Down tilt, not quite. Back to bombs. Although Cloud has racked up a decent bit of percent on him, but the throw is the run up throw is beautifully timed. He's really using that sword. Almost, he tried to shield break with cross slash, but it wasn't quite there yet. Good back air, but he traded with the bomb. Going high for the recovery. Cloud was ready. Charging limit. The up air doesn't quite connect. Now he's off stage. How does Cloud do it? Gets limit and uses limit climb hazard. Still dies to up tilt, though. Cloud, not the heaviest around, so those will kill. I like him doing really good spacing out cloud while using these bombs to trade in bad situations where he understands he's going to get hit sometimes f, f smash doesn't quite connect but here comes the bomb he's gonna throw it yup the bomb itself didn't go off or the grenade the wave bounce grenade sitting in shield just to not take that extra little bit of damage what's the plan back air kills but it's down to 83 percent almost a full stock lead on snake right here Tried for the up tilt, didn't quite make it, but the parry in the, in the dash attack does get it. Down smash into Nikita. Nikita off stage, it kills. We have almost a full stock lead for Snake. Neutral getup, getting through all the bombs. Very good use of iframes. Amazing, amazing C4. Back throw. Doesn't quite. He tech rolls out. Couldn't quite read that. With limit. How does he choose to use the limit? Are we going to see a cross slash? Ooh. Blade beam again, but this time he connects. Dealing a good bit of damage to Snake. Cloud just needs to finish this stock as quickly as possible so that he can try to make a comeback from here. Every bit of percent that Snake gets on him is just another... Just a little bit further into that grave. But we'll see if he can make it happen. That was a good back air. Charging limit while Cloud or Snake recovers high. Into up smash on platform. Takes him out. This game's not impossible for Cloud, although it's just quite tough because Snake really, really is good at being slippery and not taking those hits. And the back air will seal it. Very, very, very interesting matchup to see Snake and Cloud run it, uh, duking it out with each other because Snake really, really wants to trade with bombs. And we see Cloud here really struggling to deal with that. It's, it's a lot to think about when you're playing Cloud because you, not only do you have your limit, you also have all these bombs around and you have to deal with all these grenades and all these projectiles that Snake can throw out. Snake has armor on up B so you can't even just one hit him out of it. Going into game two, we'll see how the Cloud adjusts and doesn't let it happen next game. We're on small battlefield this time. Starting with Blade Beam, okay. Not letting him, use, not letting him really use the range. The down air really reading the rollout. Down air connecting at ledge. What's the plan for Cloud? He's just kind of sitting there. I don't know if that's the best idea. Forwarder connects. Run up shield, though. You get a little rowdy in the back. F tilt again connects. Up smash. Doesn't quite connect, and he gets the limit cross slash off. Almost dies to his own C4. As he recovers high. That's the usual snake way. But not like the Dragon Ball kind. He F-tilted. Didn't quite do much, though. He's middle stage. Here's the grenade. The grenade hits Cloud. Cloud's got a little bit of a percent lead here, but Snake's kill moves are pretty good. I don't know if he dies to up tilt. I wouldn't say so. Maybe at 100, though. Up tilt will kill. Cloud's got to try to finish this stock out as quickly and cleanly as possible. He's preferring, he prefer not to use limit, but we can't always get what we want. We might have to make those tough decisions. We're not going to see... Oh, he blade beamed the wrong way. I'm pretty sure that was meant to be a B-reverse. 
That was a perfect bomb throw. Oh my. Both both at 150. Who dies first? Cloud gets the dash attack. All right, how much extra credit can you get on this stock? Slides under the up air, or the nair with down tilt. How does he play at ledge? He gives up ledge. Okay. Oh, just barely gets into the... Just barely dies. 43%. Charging bit of limit. He's doing his best to stop Snake from what he's doing. Zoning with the blade beam. Not letting those bombs touch him. Saw a whiffed grab. We're looking. Snake's looking for a few confirms. Cloud's trying to get him out. Oh. Good parry into up tilt. What's he got next? The down air doesn't really work. Back throw. We're seeing a lot of straight hits on here, but that's what Snake lives for. Snake's going to trade all day with you until he can land you in one of his kill moves. But Cloud's doing a really good job of spacing and not letting it happen. Put him in shield stun. The forwarder didn't hit. Backer got parried into dash attack. Nair, they both spot dodged. Climb hazard being safe even if it hits because he, he fell out of it. A grenade. Backer didn't hit. There's up there. Oh. Uh, I think someone lost. C4 not connecting. Although, Cloud's getting a lot, a lot of credit for this. Is that bomb going to mess him up? Yes, it will. He's using the bombs to keep his recovery and recover low as, or as low as possible. He understands that he's at a high percent. He's going to die, but he's getting this extra credit out one way or another. Cloud refusing to die. Oh, my. The, the get-up attack having the iframes to go through the bomb up tilt. He's getting a lot of credit out of this. This is a really, really big improvement from last game. Limit cross slash hit. Is he not going to lose his stock? Never mind. The grenade killed him. He was just at 180 and, you know, and the next straight hit's going to kill. Ooh, that was a good little combo we got off the bombs. That went a really good way for Snake. Snake got... He missed the tech. I was not expecting that down air to hit him into the stage either, in all honesty. So I would have missed that tech too. It's 1-1 now between Mob Ninja and Alikim. Eliakim, I hope I'm saying that right. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with these gentlemen, but they are playing their hearts out. Alright, match point. Let's see. Sticking to Cloud and Snake, so this is how it's gonna be. What this is how it's gonna be when it ends. Will Cloud take glory? Will Snake win it out in the end? Uh, he is the big boss. Interesting wave bounce. Landed him in his own bomb though. He's at 51%, mostly to his own bombs. Got the nice persona music going in the background. Parry. Snake's been really on it with those parries. He's really been showing him what's up. And the spacing with the bombs is was really good on st on first game. But it's declined a little bit. He picked it up. Nikita Nikita doesn't hit, but neither does Limit Cross Slash. So that's Cloud's meter out. He has to recharge the thing again. And we'll see if he was able to recharge it before his stock's over. Because it doesn't matter how much limit you have. If you die, you'll lose all of it. That down air hit through the platform. Snake's not a short character. Those won't. Those will hit. Pulling the bomb, trying to keep him in as much air, trying to take him as much area as he can with his hitboxes. These parries are insane, though. Trying to hit the stage for the Nikita explosion to hit, but it's not quite there. Another bomb hit. Limit again. Two limits in the same life. This cloud's living it. 163, though. A straight hit and up tilt. Those will kill. F the dash attack won't, though. Good use of high frames, but the second hit of F-Till comes out and seals that stock. Snake's at 120, but he's pretty heavy for, you know, someone who's just a normal person like Cloud. These bombs, these bomb placements are insane. The grenades are just too much. I didn't even see the C4 at ledge there. That was immaculate. He's not dying. Oh, the back air takes it. All right, he almost has Limit. Limit could be the damage boost he needs to put himself back into this game because it's not quite even yet. Off stage, but it, Snake gets to go high. He's got armor on the on the Cypher. F-Tilt again. Snake really using those F-Tilts to his advantage. Really occupying the space with grenades up and uh, hitboxes in general. And 
Cloud's struggling a little bit again to deal with these grenades and work through all of it. He seemed to be spacing really well last game. Oh, we'll see, he's getting more aggressive. Oh. Yeah, they were both they were both a little testy to press a button there, so they sat there and shield. Will Nikita hit this time? Not quite. Will we see a limit cross slash or blade beam? Blade beam, but it hit the grenade, so it didn't quite go. And Snake kills with the F tilt at ledge. Second hit. That F tilt's been paying in dividends for Snake. Cloud's really been struggling to deal with it, especially when it's coupled with those parries. Good up B to get him away from ledge. Really frees up space for him. We're, we're seeing what Snake gets to do when he's allowed to have his win con of just occupying space with grenades, C4, Nikita's. You've really seen the whole the whole menu for Snake. And he's not even dead yet. He's still getting this extra credit on Cloud. Every piece of percent he gets is just more and more worth it because it's last stock fighting on two. Still has another stock remaining. Cloud has limit yet again. Doesn't need it. Oh, just barely lives. Snake is just heavy enough to survive that. Read the blade beam, but he couldn't. He didn't think the dash attack was coming, and he killed. This game is not unwinnable for Cloud. Just he has to work really hard for it. That's a start. Don't get hit by the bomb. Both players are using shield very, very, very well. Although the parries from Snake, like I've been saying, they are just out of this world. Does it hit? Yeah, Nikita hits. Another Nikita goes out. That's the Snake classic. Up, up air. Ooh, he read the he read the neutral air dodge. Couldn't quite hit him off the cipher. It was a good throw. He knew he'd be an end lag off landing. The F smash. Well, I agree. Doesn't quite feel as right. Yeah, these platforms not being used much by either side, but they're really, really good defensive tools. Up air traded with the bomb. Snakes classic. Nope, the limit cross slash didn't hit, and up tilt takes it. Good games from both players. It was really, really close in the end.